Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to Mark Brink Studio. I'm Mark. This is Steve. We're talking about Final Cut Pro 10.1 and some changes. And specifically, we're talking about the implications of this new library model. Right, and nowhere do you see it more powerful than when you have to import your media and you get to choose now where the media goes. Uh, that's right. So this is, this is a new thing to, to understand. Uh, once you get it, 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 it makes a ton of sense. Oh, and, it's right? just, and it greatly simplifies things. And it's flexible because you have any option that you want. All right, so I thought we'd just get right into uh, importing some media. Great, So Let's do it. I'm in the Final Cut Pro interface. And I'm going to click this button down here, import. Apple changed the icon yet again. Okay. And there's a little arrow. I'm going you could to... click that big one over well, there, too, if you yeah, wanted to, I just, right? I'm so Either used way. to clicking the down arrow. There. Yeah. yeah. Or just use Command-I, which Command is, I. you know, right. real editors don't use the mouse. All right, so we're in Final Cut Pro's unified media import window. And the reason I say unified is that all your import targets are in one place. Uh, you have your cameras, your devices, which are your hard drives, and a shortcuts area called favorites. One thing that you'll notice right off the bat is that there's no section for camera archives. Yeah, there used to be, I mean, the unified import window is not new in and of itself. That was like 1006 or something like that. Mm -hmm. But you used to be able to see all your camera archives uh, as a separate category there. Right. Now they'll show up in the favorite section, as you see here. When you create them, you have the option to have them show up in favorites. Okay. But here's the thing about camera archives. They can now be anywhere. You can have right. them anywhere. Right. They don't have to be at the root or they don't have to be in the Final Cut Archives folder. You nope. Put them nope. Anywhere you can you have want. them anywhere you want. That's awesome. All right. So here I have a connected uh, Canon uh, media card, a CF card for my uh, 5D. And inside here, you have, I have all my clips okay, from a recent shoot I did called Lifted. It's up on Vimeo if you want to check it out. I'm just going to select this top clip here. And I'm not so much interested in talking about the import process. That's not what we're about here. What okay. we're about is talking about where the media actually goes when you click import. So your options. What your options uh -huh. are. So I'm going to go ahead and just import this single clip. So I'm going to choose import selected. And you have this, this new window with some new options. Okay. Right? Now, what you need to understand about this window is it's really broken down into two two parts or halves or, I don't know, one an upper third and a lower two yeah, thirds. Right, but there's, a, a, there's line, a line. There's right? a line. Yeah. So what's really helpful is to think of the options above the line is where the media is going to go within Final Cut Pro. Inside, inside Final Cut the, Pro. Right, inside Final Cut. The options here listed under media storage is where the actual files will reside on your hard drive. Okay, what volume they'll live in. Exactly. Or, okay. Right. Okay, so the first thing is... Um, you have to be able to import into event. You don't import directly into libraries because events are the primary container for clips. Same as it's always Same been. Same as it's always been. Uh -huh. And you would choose what event you want to import in using this pop-up menu. You can see here, um, this kind of uh, light gray option at the top, it's not a selectable option because that's the name of the library. That's the library that right. we talked about last week. And these are the events within each library. That's right. Now, I could target any of these pre-existing events yes. and it would go in this training library. Or I can create an entirely new event and okay. store it in that library, one of the two libraries that you okay. saw listed there. And okay. if you wanted to put it in a new library, you would have needed to first create that library. Right. There's no okay. option to create a library from in this window. Right. You, you, had... can, you can do it in Final Cut itself, exactly. just not in the window. Got it. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to store this particular uh, event in the training library. I'm going to call this Saber. All right, so that's where it's going to, when I click import, which I'm not going to do just yet, yes. it's going to create a new event called SaberCat, and it's going to put it in the training library. Okay. Okay, so, so that's... So just to reiterate, because we're above the line, you've d defined exactly where this clip will exist within Final Cut Pro in an event called SaberCat in the training library. Right, but it's pronounced it. SaberCat, not CyberCat. I said CyberCat? Yeah. Oh, okay. That would be S-C-Y-B-E-R. <laughs> -E right, right C-Y-B-E-R. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> a computer version. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. now... Where are we going to store the media? Okay, this is very important because this is this is new. Um, copy files into. By default, it's targeting the library. Okay. Which means that um, since I'm coming off a camera card and there's no yes. way to just leave the media files there because camera cards always get ejected. Yes. You, your option is copy files into. So you, the, you have to copy them you, somewhere. They have to be copied somewhere. And here they're going to be by default, copied in the training library. And by the way, that training library should mirror what's up here. Exactly. So if I switch yeah. to testing, that should switch to testing yes. because the library okay. is changing. See so, that? So you have to copy the files, and you can either copy them into the selected library or... 
or you can not copy them into the library. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're not. We're not. Or not. Yeah. We're not. And you do that. And by the way, here's some some uh, other uh, options here. Like, uh, these are short. Basically, I'll, I'll get back to this. I don't yes. want to get ahead of myself. If you want to choose an external location, someplace outside the library, you're going to click, of course, choose. Just choose. Okay. Right. And I'm. Just, I never recommend storing media on your desktop. That's not a good place. You should probably pick a, you know, a fast drive. Uh, here, you can see my meter. Media you drive, have a bunch yeah. of libraries already existing there. Yes. Um, pretty good idea to, to do that. So um, I'm going to do that. In fact, I'm going to create a new folder for this, um, for this media. I'm going to call this SaberCat um, Media. And I'll just click Create. Okay, and just to be clear now, you're not storing, I know we saw a bunch of libraries on that drive. Right. You're not storing a library on that drive. All you're doing is taking the media and putting it on that drive. Right, I could I could have easily stored it on the desktop. It, yes. The point is, I'm copying the files somewhere. Okay. Yes. Either on my desktop, on a drive, okay. in a folder on a drive, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that, that's a really good point you brought. I'm gonna go back to my media drive and I'm gonna select uh, this uh, Sabercat media because that's what I created it for. And I'm gonna just click Choose. Okay, so look, copy files into Sabercat okay. Media. Now you're going to see what that list is for because these were other places that the media that, was that copied you've, that to. That you've chosen to store media. That's right. Yes. It's, it's basically a, a little memory. Recent menu. items. Yeah, recent, recent items. items. Thank yeah. you. Couldn't think of the, quite the term. Yes. So it, the question will come up. What, what should I choose? Should I copy yeah. it into the library or should I copy it outside, outside the library? Okay, yes. by the way, Apple has a term for this. If you're copying media directly into the library, that's called a managed yeah. library. If the library is going outside the library to an external location, it's called a external media external location. Media. So we've got Very a, man important. a managed library or external media. That's right. Okay. And that's kind of important. And I'm sure it brings up a question, well, when should Which, I choose internal? When should I great. choose external? Which I do. Well, it really depends on your workflow. If I'm like a single editor working alone in my little laptop in the corner of the room somewhere, I'll probably, you know, it's, <laughs> <I'm working. laughs> so, it's described my life. <laughs> right. I might want to just keep it in a library if, if the project's small. But if I'm working with a bunch of editors and it's an episodic TV series and I'm getting all this media, you know, you're, you're, if you're doing managed, yeah. your library is just... It's going to blow up. Getting it's going to oh, uh -huh. get huge. You know? uh -huh. So, in, in most cases, uh, I think on, on big workflows, we have a lot of clips. Uh, external, external library or external media that the library is referencing is probably your better. Probably makes thing. sense. Yes. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and target uh, that Sabercat since I went through and yes. doing that. There's also another option to leave in place. I'll come to that. And yeah, you back can't in even moment. select. You it can't now. even select it. And why can't you select it? Because the media is coming off a card, yes. and we don't want to leave the media in place. We don't want yes. Final Cut to connect to media no that's way. already on no a way. card. You eject that card, and you're done. That's why yeah. it's not. Okay. So what I'm going to do it. is I'm going to click uh, Import, okay. and the win Import window will be dismissed. Ah, and there's your there's, new there's, event. There's my new event. And it's in the training library. So that above the line thing described exactly. Oh, and there's your clip. There's my clip right there. Okay. So I can. It's uh, actually still importing. There yeah, it is. There. So I can then reveal the clip in the finder, which I'm going to go do. And you'll notice if I command click, it actually put it on the media drive in the Sabercat folder. Right where you targeted. Right yeah. where I targeted. Yeah. It. So it's not in the library at all. The library is pointing to it. That's right. So the library itself. Wherever it's located, it's not growing in size when you do this. By the way, you can find out where the library is. There's the library, right? We yes. said that if you right click on it, you can choose Reveal in Finder, and that is the library. Okay. I can actually look inside it, which, you know, if you want to, you can, but yes. not necessary. But if I go in here, there's the Sabercat folder, and inside here, there's my original media. So that's the Sabercat event right there. That's a Sabercat okay. event. Yes. Right, because that basic event is just a folder inside the library. Yes. That's it. But if you look closely, these clips are actually what are called sim links. The little hooked arrow the little, tells you that. They're actually pointing to the media we copied the external yes. folder. So if I right click on this and choose show original, it will take us right to where? Where would we expect? The external media folder that I created drive. on the media drive. Perfect, okay. yeah, it makes total sense. Right. There's one more option we should quickly take a look at. Okay. I'm gonna go to back to the import window. And I'm gonna just select a different clip. Let's see, this one's kind of nice sunset shot. I'm gonna click import selected. Actually, no, I did that wrong. Because uh, that's, what, gonna, that's right, right, right. on that disk. Right, so yeah. what I'm going to do is find a file that that already exists on a hard drive. Someone okay. maybe handed me a drive, or I copied a file, um, downloaded from the internet, and I've yes. got this file on my desktop, yes. or wherever it is. It doesn't matter. The file pre-exists someplace. It's, it's already on a hard drive, and, right. it's, and it's not a camera archive, because a camera archive is basically the same thing as, as a, an external disk. That's right. So, okay. Now, remember, I, uh, here's one... Here's, here's a clip here called Sabercat External Media. This was a clip that was that's just sitting in a folder. It's mm -hmm. on the desktop, and you can see that's a favorite. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, import selected, 
and I'm going to leave that oh, file in place. Now you can select leave files in place. That's right, because okay. it already exists on a volume. Okay. So now you, you still have the first options before. You could copy the file into the library, or you could copy the file to some other location. That's right, or some other location. Yeah, so you could still do those first two, but now you have this additional option to leave it right where it is. Right where it is. Okay, so if, if somebody did send, hand you a, a two terabyte drive full of media, and you want to edit off of that thing, leave in place. Leave it in place. Yeah, and then you've got no copying going on at all. Okay. So now I'm going to just go ahead and click Import. And there's the clip, right? Okay. Actually, I wasn't really I wasn't really paying attention to what event was targeted, but it doesn't matter. It should have defaulted to okay, this. One, yeah, okay. one of the <laughs> Mac breaks, I'm going to talk about how to move clips from one event to yes, the other. Yes, yes. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and right-click on this and choose Reveal in Finder. And if you look at this, it left the file in place. I'm yeah, that, in the that, Sabre that, that, was on that was on my desktop. Yep. So didn't move it. Very, very okay. important thing to understand. So that's really the essence of working with libraries and, and what your options are for, for storing media within Final Cut Pro. When you import. So when that, you want to import. Fantastic. That was a great um, kind of blazing summary of that. If you want to understand more, we go into great detail in uh, all of these features of 10.1, especially the library model and all the new editing features in our uh, Final Cut Pro 10.1 in-depth training, which you can find on RippleTraining.com. Uh, Steve, thanks. I assume we'll be back uh, next week to talk a little bit more about some more, of this. More library stuff, more event stuff, more Excellent. media management stuff. Awesome. Okay, oh, great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, and thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.